Hey everybody, welcome to RBND Reviews. I'm Rob, and as you know, Christmas is just around the corner, so it's time to review a few movies that are related to the holiday spirit. And I'm standing next to my family's silver Christmas tree back in the good old days of the 50s and 60s. If you weren't able to get a live tree, you got one of these. Unfortunately, they don't make them like this anymore, so this is kind of unique, and my family told me that this was made back in 1969, so interesting. All right, so anyway, the movie I'm going to be reviewing today is a movie that I've wanted to see for a very, very long time. Um, I'm probably mispronouncing the title of it, but I believe it's pronounced Joya Noel, which of course in English means Merry Christmas. And I first heard about this movie back in 2005 when film critics Roger Ebert and Richard Roper reviewed the, this movie on their TV show, and I've wanted to see it for a very long time, and just a week ago, I finally got that opportunity. Um, it was an official um, selection out of competition at the Cannes Film Festival, and it's based on historical events. The story is um, there are three different you know, nationality armies. The German, French, and Scottish are fighting each other during World War I, and on Christmas Eve they decide to stop fighting and call a truce, and during Christmas they all end up getting together, and um, it's got to be one of the warmest and at the same time saddest Christmas holiday movies that I can remember. C'est peut-être une diversion vu la salle coulante. Good evening. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Uh, we were talking about a ceasefire for Christmas Eve. The outcome of this war won't be decided tonight. I don't think anyone would criticize us for laying down our rifles on Christmas Eve. Don't worry. Uh, the opening credits features pictures that suggest happier times, and I, we got to see, and it was nice to get to see all all the different sides. Some of the characters are excited about war being declared. A few of them are like, oh, something is finally happening in our lives, and there's others that are not. Everybody seems to be feeling the same thing. There's people, they have to leave their families behind, and the film features different compelling stories, and everybody, like I said, is similar, and, and also there's a lot of other things they got in common. You know, each leader of each of the different um, regiments has somebody that they don't want there. And there's some very disturbing things in this movie, like at the beginning of the movie there's kids from all the all those countries that are reciting poetry or it's teaching them that the other countries are their enemies. But during the movie, music, in particular Silent Night, seems to bring everybody together. These warm scenes of everybody, you know, calling a truce and sharing stories, talking about their loved ones and getting drunk together was really wonderful and warm, positive images. Um, there were some characters in this movie who are not going along with this ceasefire thing. They refuse to come together for one reason or another. But other than that, this movie, I think, really demonstrates the Christmas spirit. You know, the film does have a sort of religious overtone to it. The world meet them enemies. What are you waiting for? Shoot him! One night would make them brothers. Notre artillerie va vous bombarder dans 10 minutes. Je vous propose de venir vous mettre à l'abri dans ma tranchée. does not glorify war. This film suggests that war is not the answer and that we are, all, even though we've we're di we got different languages and different backgrounds and different way of doing things, we're all the same. We're not so different. And I definitely recommend checking this movie out. I'm not sure I would recommend it on Christmas Day with the family gather around because the first act of the movie, there's, you know, you actually see the different sides fighting each other and sometimes it can be a little bit bloody and grim and it can be hard to sit through. Fifty minutes into the movie is when everybody starts to, you know, decide that it's Christmas, you know, let's not fight, and then, of course, we get the last act, unfortunately, is probably one of the saddest scenes, I got to admit, I usually am not a crier, but I got very teary-eyed at the end, but I think this movie, if you're, if you're, if you, if you've seen Christmas Carol and Christmas Story and Home Alone and It's a Wonderful Life, and you're looking for something new to watch this year, I do recommend this movie. Um, naturally, there's, it's in three different languages. There's English, and then it's in French, and it's in German. So there are some subtitles. I don't. Um, hopefully, this will not distract you or take away from checking this movie out. But I think it's a very great Christmas movie, and it's war warm. It's sad, and it's a war film. 
and um, I hopefully more people check it out. So that's my review of Yoyo Noel. Uh, feel free to leave any comments you have about the movie if you have seen it. And tell me, what are some of your favorite Christmas movies or holiday movies that you like to watch this time of year? Um, if you could leave some of those comments in the um, comment box, I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. And happy holidays to all of you from RBND Reviews.